Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Publisher 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set page options. Let's get started. So I have a newsletter displaying here, and this is the front page of my newsletter. These are the two inside pages of my newsletter, being the inside left and the inside right. And finally, the last page, or the back of my newsletter. Sometimes when you create a template, you may see that there are several columns on your page. I'm going to show you how to set the options to only include one, two, or three columns, or you can even set up a custom amount of columns. And so the first thing that we're going to do is go to our page design tab and go to the template group and click options. Then on this one, I'm going to be editing the title page or the front page of my newsletter. And so once again, page design tab, template group, options. And this is where I could choose the uh, column amount, and I have one, two, three or mixed. For this one, I'm going to choose one. I click one and you'll see currently there are one, two, three columns. And if I click OK, that changes everything to just one column. So you can set your columns for the entire page. Notice I did not have to select any of the text to do that. It just sets it up automatically for the page. Now let's go to pages two and three. On page two and three, we currently have one, two, three columns listed on each of the pages. And I'm going to show you on this one how to set up two uh, columns for each page, as well as set up a custom calendar that automatically gets added onto page three. And so here's how we're going to do that. The page design tab, template group, options. When you click on options on this one, notice it's set up a little bit differently. You could choose the left inside page or the right inside page. I'll start with the left inside page and change it to two columns. If I click on two and I click OK, you'll see right here, one, two. And that only affects this page right here. Now on, on uh, page three here, or the right inside page, we're going to change this one to two columns plus a calendar. So we're going to go back to the page design tab, template group, options button. This time I'm going to select the page to modify to be the right inside page. I'll change the columns from 3 to 2, and then over here for content for page, it's currently set to 3 stories, 1, 2, 3. That's the default setting for your newsletter template in this case. But now I'm going to change it to, so that it has a calendar on the page, and the calendar, calendar will be listed at the top of the page. Keep in mind you could also add in some other elements like order form, response form, and sign up form. So I'm going to choose calendar and click OK. <coughs> When I do that, it adds the calendar, and I have one story available at the bottom. Keep in mind that this cu calendar can be completely customized. All I have to do is click inside of it and put the information that I want to. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to customize the amount of columns that appear on each page in your publisher templates. And uh, it's also taught you how to add in order forms uh, and calendars and a variety of other elements into your publications as well. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions or comments please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thanks again and have a nice day.